here we are in part seven then, and that means it's time to show you duplicating and also introduce you to the rotate tool. So we have our original wall here. We need to make sure it's selected and we're gonna duplicate this. So the way to do this from the menus is if we go to edit up here, and then we just go about just over halfway down, you'll see that duplicate there is listed. And it shows you the keyboard shortcut for this is Control and D, which is what I'll be using moving forward because Control and D is much quicker than going into the menus. And when we duplicate, you actually in the viewport won't see that the duplicate is there. What you will see is that the name here changes. So when it duplicates something, you'll have the duplicate selected. So let's click on duplicate them. So you can see the viewport doesn't really look any different, but now instead of wall, we have wall one selected, which is good. So to separate these two, because they're currently sitting right on top of each other, I'm going to put my move tool on and I'll just bring this in to the center of the room so that I can now see that I've got my two copies. I'm happy to keep the name at wall one because I know it's a wall and it's a, a copy of the original, so that's fine. But the direction this wall is facing is not particularly useful. We need it to rotate by 90 degrees. The appropriate tool for this is, of course, the rotate tool, which is the final of the three main tools over here. So we'll turn that on from here. You can, of course, press the E key, which is the keyboard shortcut. Um, now that I've clicked on each of these, I will probably be sticking to the keyboard shortcuts from now on. So here's what we need to do. We're going to rotate this round either 90 degrees this way, or you can go minus 90, it doesn't really matter. And if you have a look over here as you're rotating, you'll see when you're getting close. So we can go there. But the problem is it's gonna be almost impossible to get it to exactly 90 degrees. So you can just type that number in and press enter. And that will mean that that is now rotated exactly 90 degrees. But I want to undo that and show you another way. What you can also do whilst rotating is hold the J key on the keyboard. And if I rotate now, you'll see that it snaps to 15 degree increments. This can be really useful when you're just kind of working in a free form way in the viewport. So I'm just gonna rotate that round and that's 90 degrees exactly. The final thing to do in this step is just to get it lined up. So this time what I'm going to do is just hold X on my keyboard and you'll see that that shows that this snapping up here, grid snapping is gonna happen. And if I move side to side, what I'm doing is I'm snapping it to the center of the grid. And um, because this is now lined up here, I'm happy that that position is in the center of the grid and you can see that that makes sense. And then I'll just kind of freehand move this back to about there so that those walls intersect a little bit and that there's no gap between the floor and the wall. So let's just select everything and we can see how that's coming together. So that will do it for this step. In the next step, I'm going to be setting you your first challenge of this tutorial. So I hope you're feeling ready to be challenged. See you in the next step. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.